Hi again, it's Lisa from Lisa's Gift Wrappers and my junior wrap artist, Mini-Me. We're going to work on another kind of wrapping paper today using the same kind of technique that we did with the rubber stamps. Now first of all, we're just using white paper that we got in a roll from the craft shop. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use these sponges that you can buy in any craft shop as well. Um, for someone that's Mini-Me's age, she can really hold this by herself. If you're dealing with anybody younger, well, then what I would suggest is using a clothespin to add something to the back of this so they have something to hold when they dip. Okay, so we're going to show how to dip. So what you're going to do, same kind of paint again. We've gotten it all over our sponge. And now we're just going to lightly press it on. So it gives a little bit more texture because the sponge has holes in it. But what's fun is you can get all different kinds of designs. And after your paper dries, you can go back in and use glitter glue, you can use pencils, you can use all different kinds of things. Oh, look at your reindeer. How great is that? Okay, so Mini-Me is going to use some red on a star. I'm going to use some green on an ornament. So it doesn't matter what colors, it doesn't matter what pattern. But what's fun about this is it's easy to do and doesn't take a lot of time. And again, moms, remember to put a little bit of uh, liquid detergent into the paint so if it gets on your hands, on you, on your work surface, you'll be able to wash it off really easily. So here's the point of all of this. It's fun for the holidays. We're going to make something that the kids can actually feel a part of the holiday season. And what's best is it's something that you can do with your kids. So enjoy making wrapping paper. And if you want any more information, visit our website at www.lisasgiftwrappers.com. It's a wrap.